Good morning, guys. Came out this morning to uh, grab some more tomatoes before this heat kicks in. And I was walking around the garden, checking things out, and I realized that uh, something has grabbed one of my watermelons. The tiny little watermelon that I had up top is gone. <laughs> something snatched it off the vine. And uh, I see a critter climbing up there right now. Gonna have to get a closer look on that guy. Then I came around here to grab some of the Roma tomatoes and look what I see. Something has been out here just helping itself. <laughs> so I'm sure it was probably the squirrels. But You know, I'm not trying to uh, feed the neighborhood rats. I am finding these leaf-footed bugs this morning. Let's see if you guys can see them in there. See those guys? Yeah. So I'm gonna be out here getting rid of those sprayed a couple with the insecticidal soap and uh, they landed down here so I'm gonna see if it's gonna work on the rest of these guys I'm also gonna be grabbing some of these beans because some of them have dried up enough so that we can see what they actually look like now. I hope this is dry enough. Got a couple more down here. So, gonna see, uh... oh, you don't wanna come off. Gonna see if these guys are dry enough so you can see just how beautiful these beans are. Because this is the watermelon. It came through the tomato.
This is not a great time to be spraying this. We're gonna hit about 100, 100. <laughs> We're gonna hit 92 today, which is a reprieve from the 100 temps that we have been in. But um, I can see little spider mite webs all over this guy which is a huge problem around this time because it is so hot and so dry out here. We don't generally get summer rains like other areas do. So our heat out here is a very dry heat. This is a very low moisture area. But I'm hoping this dries up before it gets too hot. to knock those guys out of there too. There's another one right there. See some more spider mite webbing. Oh, I see an actual spider. He can stay. And what are you? high up there I can't actually see him but he looks menacing <laughs> yes I know looks can be deceiving all right let me knock these guys out of here too so I also just found my watermelon these guys are so disrespectful I mean you could have at least waited until it was fully grown just took it and took bites out of it and tossed it so most likely it was the squirrels which means today i'm going to have to cover those melons so that uh they don't get a hold of them Let me see if I can get up here and get this gun.
Can you guys see this guy? Looks like a vine borer. All right, so I'm gonna crack one of these pods open so you guys can see just how beautiful this bean is. <laughs> look at that. Man, this is a pretty bean. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Gorgeous. You guys ever seen a bean that pretty? That's a beautiful bean. See the rest of your form. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. These guys are gorgeous. All right, let's get you guys a close-up on that. Do you guys see those? Beautiful. Almost hate to eat you. Almost, not quite. So let me give you guys a little close up on this. So all I did was take a knee high stocking, you know, the kind that uh, everybody's grandma used to wear back in the day. And you simply slip it over the melon. This is the vine side. You leave the toe side, you know, a little length over here. And then you just tie both sides together around the trellis. So this is gonna give you that extra support that you need to keep the uh, melon from snapping the vine. But it's also gonna give you that little extra protection you need from insects and critters just kind of snatching your fruit away and, you know, walking away with your hard uh, labor that you've done. The same on this side. See this guy, look at this. These guys are everywhere. But same thing, just slide it over the fruit, vine side, toe side, and then just tie those two together onto the trellis. Be careful that you don't snap the vine when you are sliding it up over the stem and tying it on there, because that will defeat your entire purpose, especially if the melon is not ripe yet. If the melon is all right, you know, if it's ripe, then, you know, woohoo. But if it's not, <laughs> Yeah, you just did the job for the critters. All right, family, we've got some dead bugs. We've got some beautiful beans. Let's see, can you guys see that guy again? Look at that. He's just gorgeous. And now I have something else to show you. Look at these guys. Do you see this? Oh, they are so beautiful. Started blooming the other day. They are gorgeous. Sadly, these blooms only last one day. Yep, just one day. But they are gorgeous. I bought this rose mallow on clearance. It didn't have any tags or anything. I think this is the pink lunar swirl. Not actually sure, but I think that's what it is. Sorry, little hoverfly. Oh no, you're a sweat bee. Oh, beautiful, where'd you go? But uh, yeah, wanted to leave you guys with those because they are beautiful. Look at that. Wow, they are gorgeous. Even before they bloom. Look at that. I think there's a hollow one on here. Yeah, that's what it looks like after the petals fall out. This is a hibiscus. 
So just like hibiscus, the flowers only last one day, but man, they give you beauty while they are here. But, um, all right, guys, it is Friday. I am out of here. I've got a few errands to run this morning before the Sabbath begins. But uh, until next time, you guys stay blessed. Look at this guy. Look at it. Don't forget to say hi down below. Hit the subscribe button if you are not a part of the family yet. Hit like if you like this video or if you just like me. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to let these guys sit here and think about what they did. <laughs>